Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this DXF file, which is basically a bunch of lines kind of together. And this is what they want to do. They want to do this right here. They want to be able to cut it out. So I've got, and they wanted uh, 0.03125 thickness, which this is. So as always, I'm going to make a copy of my artwork just in case. I'm going to try to do something real quick, see if this works. I need to join those nodes. So I'm going to select them all. I'm going to go to, I'm going to open up Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. I'm going to point zero one and see if this is going to help. So now they're different pieces, but they're not all joined. Maybe this will help, though. So let's move this out of the way. If we take this right now and make the line that thickness and kind of look at it and make sure it is, and then go to object, convert the outline to an object, I'm going to left click, right click, and there we have it except for we have overlapping lines, so hopefully the weld tool will work. And let's see if it did. All right. So I was having problems earlier. So that will work. And then just turn it into a, a red hairline, and that'll cut out. The problem I was having earlier when I was doing this, if I make this, that item, Thickness, go up to object, turn it into an object, left click, right click, and I hadn't joined the curves or joined the nodes, I get a bunch of lines, little bitty lines that can be removed, but by joining the the, the nodes first, uh, saved the day. So that was pretty easy. And this will definitely cut out because if we take the smart fill tool and fill that in you know it's solid and then left click right click in red and make sure it's a hairline well enough enough of that we need to just I get off the I had the uh, color or smart fill tool so that'll work and then I would just kind of look at your corners. You know, if you want that a little bit differently, you could change that. You know, if you want that a peak, you could join a node there and just kind of up, you know, and then maybe even get rid of that node and that node. If, you know, just depending on the look, you'll just have to look at your corners. You know, this the corner corners are uh, kind of like that. Uh, but you can easily fix that just by, um, well, one thing you could do is we could just bring this one out, make sure it's pretty close, and then delete that one to get, if you need straight corners on your cutting. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.